my idea to make teddy bears. This is how I came up with my idea to make teddy bears, the Vermont Teddy Bear Company. And keep in mind, when you come up with an idea, you spend a lot of time discussing the idea first with yourself and then with others. Also, if you're married, you have to discuss the idea with your spouse. You need to learn how to sell your ideas, your idea to others. So here's how my idea started for the Vermont Teddy Bear Company. One day I was playing with my son, my first son, Graham, who was about six, month, six months old at the time. And I noticed how many stuffed animals and toys he had been given from friends and relatives. He played and slept with those stuffed animals. He had 36 stuffed animals and not one of those stuffed animals was made in the United States. I began thinking, stuffed animals are so cute and kids love them. I then went to the library and did research on old toys. Toys that I thought I could make myself. I discovered that the teddy bear used to be the number one toy in the United States in 1906. The first bear was made in 1903 after Teddy Roosevelt, who was the president of the United States at the time. The man that made that bear in 1903 name was Morris Mictum. Morris had a dry goods store in New York City. He would later go on to building the biggest toy company in America, the Ideal Toy Company. The teddy bear was named after one of our great presidents, Teddy Roosevelt, but no American, but no one in America was actually making and manufacturing an American-made teddy bear. All the stuffed animals in the 1980s, pretty much even today, came from Korea, China, or some other country. I thought I could build a U.S. bear making business, follow the path that Morris Mitchum set. I also said to myself, I bet people would buy a bear made in the United States instead of all the other foreign bears that were made. I also loved the movie Willy Wonka. It was then that I had a vision to make the best bears in the world in my own teddy bear factory that kids all over the world could visit and watch the bears being made. I was excited. I went to a fabric shop, shop, bought some material in a pattern and made my first bear myself. I loved it. I thought it would sell millions of them. His name was Bearchild. In fact, I sold only about 200 of them. But that did not stop me. I wanted to make a stuffed animal that people would love. I was sure if given a choice, they would buy my bears because they were made in the United States. I sold my bears to retailers like Macy's and other gift stores all over the United States. My idea to sell an American-made teddy bear in retail stores proved to be a huge idea. I struggled and barely was making it at the time. My bears could not compete with the bigger stuffed animal companies like Gund, Stife, and others. While selling my bears on my card in Burlington, I learned that I sold more bears during Valentine's Day than any other time of the year. People bought them as gifts for their loved ones. It was then that I came up with the idea of calling my bears a bearagram. I went from just selling teddy bears to delivering a wonderful gift a teddy bear holding a personalized message from the sender in a really cool box with special chocolate truffles. I could tell teddy bear stories for hours. I love being the teddy bear man. It really has been so far to date the best job of my life. The message in this lesson here is that I started with an idea that changed. My idea became something else. The idea and the vision evolved. That's it for this lesson. See you in the next lesson. Bye for now.